Why would they need to use a spy balloon to, to rattle some cages? Why? Surely China has more sophisticated technology than this. They're high, they're sneaky, and they can creep across the skies, vital skies, over the Arctic, which is a very hot communication zone, almost undetected, as we found because it's become clear that they've been launching these things since 2017. That's nearly six years by my math. Mm. And now it, we become aware that they are a real threat. Why? Because they can jam communications. They can interfere with digital warfare. And where does Europe and NATO have its first digital war, Ukraine? Why is it, it Western governments are only now cottoning onto them? Why are we now seeing them and shooting them down? because Taiwan has been seeing this kind of activity for a very, very long time, I think for nearly 10 years, mm. where the surveillance bit of kit of choice are these balloons, because they're, sorry, pardon the illusion, they're silent and deadly. They're very difficult to de detect, as Tom explained beautifully. Radar, the highly sophisticated, high-level radar, tend to filter them out, but they're I don't think albatrosses and vultures fly at 40,000 feet now. Mm. We are extremely vulnerable from all sides, from China, from Russia particularly, on communications. And that includes your and my mobile phones. Point two is interruption, disruption. And that must be the real worry. And it is a real worry now, because if China is doing it from above in the atmosphere, we know particularly since last February the 24th, that the Russians have been doing it underwater, looking at our undersea cables, where you get tens of trillions of transactions done per day, per week. So what we're looking at really is a cyber war. Am I right? Yeah, it, it, a, a cyber war, digital war, info war. Yes, they're, they're all in, 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 interlinked.